It's inevitable. Accidents will happen in the laboratory. Accidents, by definition, are unforeseen. But your knowledge of lab safety will help minimize the likelihood of accidents. And in this lesson, we'll talk about safety equipment found in the lab. These items may help you save a life if and when an accident occurs. When working in a lab for the first time, look around and identify the location of the safety equipment. Every lab must contain a safety shower and eye wash station. Both should be tested weekly to ensure they're working properly and the water is clean. If a chemical or flame exposure has occurred, yell for help and immediately move to the nearest safety shower. Remove the saturated clothing and thoroughly drench the affected skin under the shower. If your clothes or skin are exposed to flame, then drench your entire body and have someone call 911. The eye wash station is used for rinsing your eyes if they're exposed to hazardous chemicals. Hold your eyes open and thoroughly rinse for at least 10 minutes. The next piece of safety equipment is the fire extinguisher. There are four types of fires. Class A fires consist of ordinary combustibles like wood, cloth, and paper. These fires can be extinguished by water or general purpose extinguishers. Class B fires include organic solvents and flammable liquids, and Class C fires involve electrical equipment. Class B and C fires must be smothered with chemical foam extinguishers. Putting water on these fires will only make matters worse. Water will actually cause the fire to spread, and you can even electrocute yourself. Class D fires involve combustible metals, which aren't very common in the lab. That's why most labs contain dry chemical fire extinguishers, which are installed close to the exits. Dry chemical extinguishers are effective against class A, B, and C fires. If a fire occurs and it's too large for you to extinguish, evacuate all personnel immediately and call 911. Don't attempt to use a fire extinguisher unless you have been trained to do so by certified trainers, such as the local fire department. A fire blanket can be used to extinguish small flames on workbenches and floors. It can also be used to help someone whose clothing is on fire. Never wrap someone while they're standing. This can force the flames upward toward the head and neck area. Instead, help the person to the floor, wrap them in the blanket, and help them roll until the fire is out. Each lab should have a first aid kit that contains bandages and antiseptic for minor injuries. Evacuation routes should be posted near the exits. It's important that you know multiple evacuation routes in case one is blocked. Another helpful piece of safety equipment is the chemical fume hood. It's a ventilated, enclosed work area that protects you from toxic vapors. Turn on the exhaust fan. Make sure the hood is venting properly. The opening is covered by a window called a sash, which can be raised and lowered. For most applications, the sash should be open to either 8 or 16 inches. Never store chemicals under the hood and always clean and remove materials when you're finished working. Test your safety equipment regularly to make sure each item is ready in case there's an emergency. In our next lesson, we'll examine how your behavior in the lab can help keep you and your coworkers safe.